Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite, guys. That beta was incredible. I enjoyed every second that I got into it, man. So many new things. 343, man, you did such a great job actually innovating Halo in the best possible way. With the movement, with the equipment, with the way the vehicles work now. There's so much amazing stuff going on with this beta and i just want to take a second to to highlight that specifically this beta was so much fun and man it, it makes me I, i'm gonna say it i'm gonna say halo is back it's back in halo infinite it's back december what i'm not sure the date but come december halo is officially back and we are happy and the first couple of things I want to talk about with this beta man is equipment and movement because they kind of work together. The movement in Halo Infinite is drastically improved from the past Halos man. This, The movement feels fluid, the slide gains you more speed, and of course we've seen slide before in other games like Apex Legends and you know Call of Duty, but this specific game, they've they done slide so well. You gain a lot of speed from sliding. It's actually something that you might want to do on some of the bigger maps. As a matter of fact, I slide quite a lot whenever I play on big team battle at least. Most of the time I'm sliding trying to get to places. I, I feel like I think they did really well with integrating this new little movement tool because it doesn't really affect the core of Halo. It's still the same. It's just this allows for more opportunity with movement by itself. And then that in tandem with the grapple is incredible the grapple you fly across the map and then slide and gain more speed it's insane it really caught me off guard was how useful the repulsor is in tandem with movement because you can push yourself up too and make jumps that you otherwise wouldn't be able to make i remember before we'd probably just throw a grenade on the ground and jump but i don't think that really works as well as it would in Halo Infinite, especially when you can use all the equipment to maneuver the map the way you can. You don't necessarily need to do that anymore. It's incredible, man. This is crazy. And along with the fact that you can use most of the equipment on vehicles, like you can grapple onto someone's ghost, take the ghost and then kill them and then grapple <laughs> again to another vehicle. It's incredible, man. This is just fun. They really did make Halo feel fun again and that's kind of where a lot of my appreciation comes from because halo infinite was just fun equipment was fun to use moving around the map was fun to do the weapons oh don't get me started on the weapons were all fun to use they really just hit it right on the nail this is one incredible beta i think the only piece of equipment that i absolutely did not like was probably the drop wall the drop wall sucked I would much rather have a bubble shield as opposed to the drop wall. It's more or less because the drop wall is really, really weak. Now, I'm not saying it should be extremely strong, but at the same time, is it as useful as a bubble shield was? Now, with the bubble shield, you can't shoot in and you also can't shoot out of it. But at the very least, you're creating a secure space for yourself to maybe just regain health. But with the new shield, it's just not the same. I mean, yeah, you can shoot out and they can't shoot at you, but it really doesn't take much to break the shield. I think the importance, or at least what you could do, or how you could utilize something like a bubble shield would be a lot better than just having that shield. I'm not sure if there is a bubble shield in Halo Infinite. Maybe data miners could, you know, find that, but I would much rather use the bubble shield as opposed to the drop wall i have no there's no reason for me to use the drop wall right now i got there's many situations where i i ignored the drop wall on the ground and just went to go pick something else up because there's no reason for me to pick it up honestly that feels like more of a tool that you would use when you're in a 1v1 situation as opposed to facing maybe two three people which is most of the time in halo you're facing two three people it's very rare to have a 1v1 battle and when you're going against two or three people what is the one thing that you need that you're calling upon whenever the drop shield fails you a weapon i need a weapon the weapons the weapons the weapons in this game are so fun to use they're so fun to use man there's so many new weapons i can't even name them but man man there's so much going on so much is amazing this i i i really really enjoyed every single weapon that i use maybe except for the plasma pistol that that thing sucks now i'm not entirely sure what they did to that thing but it's not the same 
I'm pretty sure a charged pistol shot from the plasma pistol does nothing to a vehicle, and I think that kind of sucks. They've added new grenades, and one of the grenades does serve the same purpose, but at the same time, it's a plasma pistol. I'm expecting to shoot something and make it stop. That's the whole point of the plasma pistol for the most part in most halos. You use it against vehicles, and that's pretty much it. And also against people with full shield, but I mean, again, it's very easy to manipulate that thing. That's probably the only gun that I did not enjoy. I mean, the explosions, the 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 constant just randomness happening, the the boom 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 boom, the boom boom boom, the boom boom, the, boom, boom, the crazy shit happening on the screen, man. That that is Halo. That feels like everything that I wanted Halo to be for the past two to 10 years <laughs> like this was everything that i wanted and that that that's all you need weapons like this that are just absolutely catastrophic and just blow up and just explode and do amazing damage this is what makes the game fun one of my favorite weapons was this three round burst weapon that you just shot three shots out of and it's just a bunch of explosions a bunch of big red explosions it's super 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 cool like there's no other way for you to put it it's just really cool to look at and other things that you'd like to look at just the graphics by themselves the graphics in this game are incredible there's a lot of detail in mostly everything on this you could sit there and shoot a wall and just get mesmerized by how detailed it is of you shooting that wall like with the warthog you can shoot all of the wheels off of the warthog and it actually affects the way the warthog turns and swings it's pretty cool also like one of the bigger things too is the ghost wings fall off the ghost and you could still drive it around it's one of the coolest things to look at they did really good with just details and even the smaller details like audio audio is sounds really good there's even videos on youtube of people just admiring how great the audio of this game is this was really really well done but off the audio and back to the visuals this game looks incredible it truly feels like a next generation game Everywhere you turn, there's so much detail. It, it it all pops in front of your face so perfectly. And along with all of that, it graphically looks amazing. There's so much little details in every little thing that you do. Every little thing that, that is in the game. Walls, vehicles, people, Spartans. There's trees. And there's so much detail. You just have to sit back and appreciate it. I mean, dude, look at how cool it is to fly this broken ass ghost. This is so cool. I think the bottom line that I would, the point that I really want to get across with this video, with Halo Infinite in particular, this game feels fluid. It feels nice. It looks nice. It, it plays well. Dude, this game is incredible. Come December, like I said in the beginning of the video, Halo Infinite is back. Halo in general is back. This is going to be an incredible time for a lot of people who love Halo and a lot of people who are just getting introduced into Halo. This is the perfect one. Now, I wish I could make a much longer video, much lengthier video talking about everything that I love, but these are the core things that I really enjoyed about this new Halo Infinite beta. And I just really want to take my time and highlight all of these things. I just really appreciated how great this beta was. I, I'm i really hyped for Halo. I've been playing the old Halos for a while now, like on Halo Master Chief Collection, and man... It just feels good to finally have that new refreshing game that I'm waiting for again. And that's Halo Infinite, man. I'm I'm excited and I hope that this gets you guys just as excited. Hopefully you guys can see the amazingness that I'm seeing in this game and you guys can go ahead and play this shit too. Because I'm I'm gonna be on this a while. I might even make more videos about this. Like I, I wanna I wanna talk more about Halo Infinite. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of fun with this man the 4v4 mode was really good but like I said this is more it's more about big team battle uh, you know the, I, I really enjoyed that shit it, it was just pure fun so many things just the boom boom and everything explosions and boom and, and boom dun, 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 dun. and then boom again it's just it's awesome it's something you have to sit there and appreciate it's it's halo it's halo and, and that right there is enough. I just want to say 343, thank you guys. You guys finally delivered with a really, really good Halo. I'm not saying the other Halos were bad, but this specific Halo really stands out. I really appreciate being able to play this beta and being able to play both betas, as a matter of fact. And hopefully uh, I continue to get in with the Halo Insiders, man. Get, get your ass in there, man. You don't know when a beta is coming out. Just... Hop on in, check your emails every once in a while, and man, you might be able to get in. And if you guys like this video, if you enjoyed this video, 
please consider hitting the like button. Put your comments, if you ended up playing the Halo Infinite beta as well, uh, put your thoughts in the comment section. I'd like to read that kind of stuff. That's I, I want to see what other people felt. Or if you saw gameplay, I would like to see that. If you guys would like to subscribe, don't subscribe. Go watch some of my other videos before you subscribe. Make sure you like my content, then subscribe. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.